Brace yourselves, this year a huge underwater volcano will erupt and it will be really violent. The scientists are absolutely certain about the forecast and we will clarify when and where it will happen and above all what the consequences will be. So fasten your seatbelts because we are now diving into the depths of the ocean and taking a look at one of the most spectacular volcanoes in the world. Welcome everyone. I hope you all shook yourselves up a bit after the intro because that's exactly what the ocean floor will be doing this year. If underwater tremors fascinate you as much as they do me, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button for the channel. Subscribing is absolutely free. You will never miss a video again and you will help me immensely. Thank you guys. Let's get to the main topic. The Axial Seamount, an underwater volcano about 480 kilometers west of the west coast of the United States, is currently making headlines in the world of geology. And not because it produces particularly beautiful bubbles or because Nemo is vacationing there, although that could also be the case. No, scientists have recently predicted that this volcano will erupt this year. Now you might be asking yourselves, so what? Why should I care about a volcano underwater? Well, this volcano is highly interesting for several reasons. First of all, it's big. It rises 1.1 kilometers above the ocean floor. By the way, here's a little guessing question for you. How high in kilometers do you think the largest underwater volcano in the world is? Take a guess and write your answers in the comments. The answer will be revealed at the end of the video. I'm curious, whoever is closest. Yes, the Exel Sea Mount is one of the most active underwater volcanoes in the world. He is, so to speak, the class representative of underwater volcanoes. Always active, always bubbling. What really makes it special is its regular eruption pattern. Imagine you had a roommate who reliably went crazy every few years and trashed the living room. Usually happens after the fifth gin and tonic at the flat party. The Axial Seamount behaves in a similar way. It has erupted several times in recent decades, most recently in 1998, 2011, and 2015. This regular behavior makes the Axial Seamount a favorite of scientists. While most volcanoes are unpredictable, like a three-year-old child after too much sugar, the Axial Seamount is comparatively predictable. This is partly because it is the most closely monitored underwater volcano in the world. The scientists use a whole range of cool gadgets for this. There are pressure sensors on the sea floor, for example, that measure how the volcano expands and contracts. In addition, autonomous and remote-controlled underwater vehicles are used. These little submarines buzz around the volcano collecting data. It's a bit like a fleet of tiny spaceship enterprises observing an exotic planet. Just underwater instead of in outer space. And not a planet, but a volcano. And also not a spaceship enterprise, but a submarine. Oh, get the comparison. The coolest instrument for exploration might be the SOSUS system. SOSUS stands for Sound Surveillance System and was originally designed to detect Soviet submarines during the Cold War. Today, scientists use the system to monitor the volcano's seismic activity, a bit like listening to the volcano with a giant stethoscope, and what the research is here leads them to conclude that the next big show will happen this year. The prediction for the next eruption is based on several factors. For one thing, the volcano has been inflating again quite a bit since its last eruption in 2015. It is now pumped up to over 95% of the threshold of the last eruption. That's like inflating a balloon, and it's almost as big as it was the last time it popped or how I feel after the 10th piece of pot roast at Christmas dinner. You would be careful too, right? In addition to the volcano's inflation, scientists have also detected a significant increase in seismic activity. The seabed is shaking. According to the American Geophysical Union, AGU, there are now hundreds of earthquakes per day with swarms of more than 500 per day. Based on these observations and assuming that the volcano will erupt after reaching the 2015 level, scientists now predict an eruption before the end of 2025. Now you might be wondering, okay, cool, but what actually happens when it erupts? Imagine shaking a bottle of cola and then throwing a Mentos in it. No! Oh, oh, not again. It's similar, just much, much bigger. During an eruption, hot magma rushes out of the volcano and meets the cold seawater. This leads to explosive steam formation and can hurl large quantities of volcanic material into the water column. The last eruption of Axial Seamount in 2015 was quite impressive. The volcano produced a lava flow almost two kilometers wide. It was like your entire neighborhood suddenly being flooded with lava, and the game The Ground is Lava would finally become reality. During the eruption, the seafloor sank by more than two meters. But don't worry, for us land dwellers, there is no direct danger. The Exile Seamount is too deep and too far out in the ocean to trigger a tsunami or anything like that. 
Jeff Beeson, a geologist at Oregon State University, confirmed that as well. So, you don't need to put your surfboards away just yet. So why are the scientists so excited then? Because of the upcoming eruption? Well, Exile Seamount offers a unique opportunity to learn more about underwater volcanoes and their effects. Researchers hope that by observing the eruption, they will gain new insights into its impact on hydrothermal systems and the nearby ecosystem. Imagine being able to watch a volcano erupt without getting roasted. That's exactly what the Axial Seamount makes possible. Scientists can then see in real time how the seabed deforms, how the temperature and chemistry of the water change, and how marine life reacts. Like a live broadcast of a geological revolution, the research findings could also help improve the understanding of how and when volcanic eruptions generally occur. This could lead to accurate predictions in the future. How, when volcanic eruptions generally occur, this could lead to accurate predictions in the future. Not just for underwater volcanoes, but also for their fiery cousins on land. Imagine if one day we could predict volcanic eruptions as accurately as the weather. Today is sunny with an 80% chance of a volcanic eruption in the afternoon. That would be something, wouldn't it? The impending eruption, it also reminds us how dynamic and active our planet really is. We often forget that beneath the seemingly stable surface of our Earth lies a hot, bubbling core. Volcanoes like the Exel Seamount are like the steam valves of our planet. They show us that the Earth is alive, constantly changing and evolving. And without these valves, the planet would end up like a broken pressure cooker. And speaking of changes, do you know what has also changed in recent years? The technology for predicting such eruptions. The ability to forecast an eruption well in advance. The technology for predicting such eruptions, the ability to predict an eruption well in advance, as is currently the case with the Exel Seamount, is quite unique, according to geophysicist William Chadwick. Just a few decades ago, such a prediction would have been unthinkable. This also shows how far we've come in our understanding of the Earth and its processes. Nevertheless, many questions remain unanswered. How exactly does the mechanism that leads to an eruption work? What role do factors like the pressure of seawater or the tectonics of the Earth's plates play? And above all, can we apply the insights from the Exel Seamount to other volcanoes? The answers to these questions could help us better understand volcanic eruptions and maybe even control them one day. Imagine if we could milk volcanoes to release pressure in a controlled way and prevent major eruptions. Sounds like science fiction, but who knows? Maybe in a few decades it will be a reality and we could supply entire continents with energy from a giant like Yellowstone. Or in Germany, using the Eiffel volcanism to finally lower electricity prices a bit. The Exel Seamount is not just a fascinating natural phenomenon, but also an important research subject. It's like a huge underwater laboratory where we can unlock the secrets of the Earth. And the best part is we don't even have to get wet to observe it. So keep that in mind for this year. It could be the year in which we witness a spectacular underwater fireworks display. And speaking of new perspectives, in Northern Europe, there is something that seemed unthinkable until now. We are talking about the possibility of a tsunami in the North Sea. It sounds unbelievable. Science says otherwise. In fact, we now know that the North Sea has already been devastated by a tsunami in the past. This could happen again, so click on the top right to learn more about it. And if you click on the bottom right, you will be taken to another exciting science topic that the algorithm has selected just for you. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, folks.